With the recent release of Skyward Sword HD, many Zelda fans have begun to look at the controversial entry into the series more favorably. Let's keep the positive train rolling by counting down the 5 best things about The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. The story in Skyward Sword is one of the stronger elements of the game. One of the major focal points of the story is the relationship between Link and Zelda. Early in the story, it's made quite clear that Link and Zelda are childhood friends who have grown quite fond of one another over the years. It's a much more impactful moment when Zelda is whisked away in a tornado due to the table set at the start of the game. You spend a large chunk of the journey chasing after her and eventually learning of her role in stopping Demise. More than most Zelda games, you feel like Link and Zelda do truly care for one another, which makes the final conclusion that much more meaningful. There's no more anxiety-inducing moments in Skyward Sword quite like the Silent Realm sections. Your objective is to collect the sacred tears scattered around the map while avoiding terrifying guardians. You can't just take your sweet time either as guards will awaken if you wait too long in between collecting these tears. The Silent Realm sections were a nice change of pace from the standard gameplay and a great signature element of Skyward Sword. While Demise left a lot to be desired as the main villain of Skyward Sword, Gearham more than made up for it with his flamboyant and unique personality. Gearham truly steals the spotlight and is constantly in pursuit of Zelda and Link's objectives. Not only is he a great character, but he also has several memorable and challenging boss encounters. The Ancient Cistern is one of the most unique dungeons in the entire Zelda series. Partially based off of the Japanese short story The Spider's Thread, there is a stark difference between the upper level of a serene lotus pond and the lower level which is a dark underworld. Not only is the dungeon itself fantastic, but it also houses what many would consider the best boss in the entire game, Kalaktos. The fight involves using the whip to dismember the boss's metal arms but to destroy the rest of it, you need to use the boss's own massive sword. Before we get to number one, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more Zelda content. The Lanayru Desert is indeed the best thing about Skyward Sword. Yes, pretty much all of it. From the beautiful aesthetics of each section of the overworld to the two dungeons it houses, almost all of the best moments of Skyward Sword seem to be happening at the Lanayru Desert. We see an epic showdown at the Temple of Time, Lanayru Mining Facility is quite the underrated dungeon, and the Sand Sea section all the way up through the end of the Sand Ship Dungeon might be the best section of the entire game. Not to mention the Lanayru section of the Song of the Hero quest is probably the least annoying of the three quests. All of these factors combine to make the Lanayru Desert truly the best thing about Skyward Sword. I'll be following up with the 5 worst things about Skyward Sword, but that's all for now, take care. <laughs>